Uh, Scotland Week is going to be very exciting. The focus this year is much more strategic. It's much more um, about defining what it is that we want to project and um, spreading out you know, across North America is very, very important. So a lot of ground to be covered, and I'm particularly pleased that for the first time um, the Scottish Government will be including Canada in the programme. We're doing a, a Scotland Week, a Tartan Day of a Scotland Week, uh, which uh, is a bit, bit more, bit more business-orientated this, uh, this, this year. It's, uh, it's a bit more about uh, business and the economy, political connections obviously, but, but also cultural connections and the academic connections. I'll be making a speech at the University of Virginia where Thomas Jefferson, one of the great founding fathers of, uh, of America and the, probably the prime uh, declarator of the American Declaration of Independence, that was his university, and we'll be taking a copy of the Declaration of our Broth to University of Virginia. They're, they're really excited by this because many people in America believe that the Abroth Declaration of 1320 was a prime influence in the American Declaration all these centuries later. Um, it was drawn up um, and, uh, at, on the 6th of April 1320 because that's the date we have it's actually mentioned in the document and that date was chosen in the United States as Tartan Day and that's a quite deliberate thing. They chose the date of this document to mark Tartan Day which is now part of what we call Scotland Week uh, in the United States. The other aspect is a little bit more um, tenuous. Um, there is a school of thought that says that the United States Declaration of Independence was heavily influenced by this document, even though it was uh, several hundred years earlier. But we can't be absolutely sure that the people who drafted the US Declaration of Independence uh, were actually aware of this. But, but perhaps in the future, historians will find more evidence that will prove that point, which would be wonderful for Scotland. So it's a big, big influence, and they're very excited by it. And it's an indication of how we can use the resonance of Scottish history in a modern context to bind us closer together with our, our friends in America. Um, you know, how we see Scotland Week is that we have to, as, as well as celebrating that wonderful heritage and history that's celebrated by Scots and those of Scots descendant all over America and Canada, it's about going out there and saying, this is Scotland now, uh, you know, what a nation we are, that we can have all that heritage and history and that we can be so modern, outlooking and vibrant. Uh, please come to Scotland.